guys and welcome back to this segment on our channel called Answering Your Most Googled Medical Questions by Heidi Gastro and today's video is a super interesting one so let's get started. So in today's video we'll explore the question what are 10 causes behind your smelly urine? So have you ever sat down on the toilet to relieve yourself and thought yuck what is that gross smell? Maybe you assumed the stench was the faint yet unpleasant odor that lingers in office bathrooms but then you realized it wasn't that at all and it was actually your own urine. So normal urine is clear, has a light yellowish color and naturally has an odor that is unique to everyone. While the odor of our urine can vary somewhat, in most cases it does not have a very strong or pungent smell. So what if your urine suddenly starts to smell extra pungent or fishy? Having a weird smell emanating from down there can be a freaky experience. So here are 10 causes behind your smelly urine. Number one is dehydration. So want to know what's the number one cause of smelly pee? Not drinking enough water. Urine consists of water extracted from foods together with chemicals and toxins that the body filters out and releases. When the body is not sufficiently hydrated, the urine becomes more concentrated. This not only gives the urine a darker yellow or orangish color, but it makes it smell quite potent and putrid too. Number two is a urinary tract infection. So urinary tract infection happens when harmful bacteria proliferate in the urethra, bladder or the kidneys. UTIs often cause changes in the appearance or smell of the urine because of the buildup of bacteria, pus or even blood in the urine which all contribute to the development of an unpleasant change in the smell. Number three is diabetes. So people who have uncontrolled diabetes often suffer from a sweet or fruity smelling urine. This is because their body tries to get rid of this excess blood sugar and disposes of the glucose through their urine. For those with more serious uncontrolled diabetic disease, they may also have ketones in their urine, which is called ketonuria. High ketone levels in the urine usually indicate diabetic ketoacidosis and may lead to their urine smelling like acetone, the patient going into a coma, or even suffering death. Number four is coffee. So ever noticed how your urine smells a lot like coffee after you've chugged down on your morning brew? Coffee contains more than 1,000 chemical compounds that contribute to its flavor, smell, and appearance. It's the antioxidants called polyphenols that are primarily responsible for the smell of coffee and are absorbed by the digestive tract, then put to use and then finally broken down and excreted in the urine. So if someone drinks a lot of coffee, their urine may contain a high enough concentration of these polyphenols and other coffee compounds, which will go on to make the urine smell a lot like coffee. Number five is pregnancy. So pregnancy can make the urine more concentrated, which can lead to it having a stronger ammonia-like smell or even it having a slightly fishy smell. During pregnancy, women have an increase in pregnancy hormones, specifically HCG or human chorionic gonadotropin. This coupled together with their lifestyle factors, such as a change in their dietary preferences, dehydration and supplement use increase, which also go on to cause their urine to have a strong odor. Number six is asparagus. So one food that many people say makes the urine smell strong is asparagus. The culprit of urine odor from asparagus is caused by the level of naturally occurring sulfurous compounds that the vegetable contains called asparagusic acid. This compound doesn't harm the body in any way, but does create a strong odd smell after you eat it and when you excrete it. Number seven is liver failure. So the liver, similar to the kidneys, is responsible for removing toxins from the body and helping it to digest food. But when one suffers from liver failure, a strong urine odor coupled together with a very dark colored urine are often the first signs of disease. Infections and diseases of the liver will produce high levels of ammonia, not only in the blood, but in the urine too. And when this occurs, the urine of these individuals will have a pungent ammonia-like odor. Number eight is phenylketonuria. So phenylketonuria is a rare genetic disorder that causes amino acids called phenylalanines 
to build up in the body and it is caused by a defect in the gene that helps create the enzyme needed to break down phenylalanine. These phenylalanines eventually spill into the urine, causing a very specific mousy or musky smell. Number 9 is maple syrup urine disease. So maple syrup urine disease is a rare and incurable genetic disease in which the body cannot process certain amino acids, which are the building blocks of proteins, causing a harmful buildup of these substances in the blood and the urine as well. People with this disease can't break down amino acids such as leucine, isoleucine and valine, causing these amino acids to spill into their urine, thus causing the urine to smell a lot like maple syrup. And it usually also has a very darkened color. And finally, number 10, which is a bladder fistula. So a bladder fistula occurs when you have an injury or defect that allows bacteria from your intestines or vagina to enter into your bladder. Bladder fistulas can occur due to surgical injuries or bowel diseases such as inflammatory bowel disease, ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease. When this happens, bacteria and contents from the intestines or vaginal cavity moves into the bladder which often leads to recurrent UTIs or bladder infections in these patients. This in turn causes the patient's urine to have a sulfur-like scent or even smell like stool in some cases. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you found the presentation very interesting and informative. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe and share. And please make sure you turn on your bell notifications so you'll be notified every time we have a new upload. If you would like to help us make better videos and content, you can also donate to us via your PayPal. Take care and thanks for joining me today as I explored the 10 causes behind your smelly urine.